This is a video response. Um, I got tagged by Waypoint Survival, and uh, he's a pretty cool guy. I believe he's from Tennessee, and uh, but anyway, he's just a country guy and uh, been out in the woods all his life. And uh, so, you know, go over to his channel. I'll go ahead and put a link down to it at the bottom. And I appreciate you tagging me, because uh, honestly, I've been tagged twice this past week, and uh, man, it feels good to to have some brothers here so uh, anyway he has eight questions he wants me to answer here so what is my most memorable camp and uh, you know I went camping when I was little and my dad always took us camping and fishing and all that and I guess the most memorable camp I had uh, was when I was little uh, being in the tent and my dad and some of his friends were around the campfire and the leg on his uh, stool that he was sitting on broke and the next thing you hear is him tumbling down the bank and a big splash in the water. And, uh, and everybody ran down the bank to him because it was dark out and, uh, you know, late in the night. And the next thing I heard was, uh, uh, don't worry, us Irishmen can swim. And uh, so anyway, my dad was a great swimmer and had a pretty big tumble down that steep bank. But uh, that's probably my most memorable camp. And then uh, also with my son, uh, Chris, and, uh, you know, him and I go out to Danny Boone National Forest every now and then and uh, just enjoy ourselves to pieces. So uh, the next question is, do you prefer solo or social camps? And, you know, I don't think I've gone by myself. It's usually me and my son or uh, me and someone. So uh, I think I like to maybe have one person along so you can enjoy talking with someone or you know, splitting the chores or just getting out, you know, but, uh, and, you know, I get out a whole lot making these videos by myself and fishing by myself, but uh, something about sitting around the campfire, just watching the flame and talking with someone is, that's awesome. Uh, the third thing is, what is your favorite knife? And, you know, uh, I showed you all my knife on my last video, but uh, it's just a little knife. It's almost like a steak knife, but uh, anyway, it's got the good micarta handles on it and stuff, and I picked that up at the flea mart. He was asking quite a bit more for it, but I said, hey, would you take $5? And he said, well, sure. And so I threw $5 at him real quick. <laughs> Ain't every day that happens, but, you know, it's it's nothing special. Not a big name brand or anything, but, uh, but you know, it works. It does the job. So uh, I think the knife that I really, really like, and I wrote it down here to send you all his direction, but on uh, Bushcraft Barton's, uh, Mike shows a knife from uh, David Holback. And uh, you can find him at Holback, David Holback at Gmail, or David Holback1 at Gmail.com. And uh, the one that I love that I'm saving up for to get one day is the Raven Hunter Hunter Blade. And uh, it looks similar to this one here. It's the HSK but uh, the blade bows down a little bit more. It's made more for hunting and cleaning deer and all, but it's got the black handle, micarta handle and everything too. So anyway, that's the knife that I really like a whole lot. And uh, one of these days I'm gonna get David to make me one and uh, carry it with pride. Okay, uh, where did you learn all your bushcraft skills from? Uh, I'm from the generation that grew up playing in the creek and out in the door, outdoors and you know, going underwater and getting turtles and having mom cook them up and all this. So, uh, you know, we started fires out there for campfires and uh, we did everything, ate blackberries. And But I think the very first thing that I ever really read about bushcraft or learning what's edible was Stalking the Wild Asparagus by Ewell Gibbons. And uh, so that really got me hooked. And I went out and found dandelions and all sorts of things wild and cooked them up and tried them all so and uh, then you know that just led one thing to another with my love of hunting and all and got out here and and just have been enjoying you know reading everything I can and and trying it out so and then watching a lot of the videos uh, that you bushcraft folks put online too you know we all learn from each other <clears throat> okay uh, what is your favorite fire starting method um, probably the ferrule rod you know, I think there's just something about uh, striking that into some tinder that you've prepared and blowing it into a flame and then getting your campfire going. And, you know, it's bulletproof too. So uh, that's probably my favorite way right there. 
Okay, what do you consider your most essential piece of kit? And I would say it would have to be my knife. Uh, I just use my knife for everything. So, you know, that's, that's probably the most important thing that I carry out in the woods. You can make about anything with that. Do you keep a bug out bag in your vehicle? Uh, now my wife laughs at me every now and then. I don't have a bug out bag, but if you go back in my videos, I've got my small pack and uh, it's just got the basics and uh, you know nothing like a big bug out bag or anything because I'm in a rural area and uh, that pack has you know everything that I need if I'm hungry I mean we got a thousand creeks around here that's got fish in them so you know and I can start a fire if I got my knife so we're set um, what do you prefer to bring alcohol wood or gas stoves and you know uh, I really like just making a fire out in the woods. That's what I do the majority of the time. If I'm floating in my canoe, you know, fishing or, or just paddling up a creek or whatever, sometimes I'll take my sterno stove and I'll just put that on top of my little ice chest there that I put my fish in and uh, I can make a quick meal with that and not worry about have to get out and find sticks and all that stuff. But for the most part, I come here to relax and I usually sit down by a creek and get me a campfire going and just watch the fire crackle and and watch the water run you know so there's something about that that just relaxes you but uh, I want to thank uh, Waypoint Survival for tagging me and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a list here and tag a few more folks on this uh, same thing okay so my tags are Pencil Tucky Trapper, Bluegrass Bushcraft, Tile 238, Far North Bushcraft and Survival, and Jim Bryant Southeast Bushcraft. And uh, if you would, the ones that I put up there, just go to their sites and take a look at what they've got. And, uh, you know, I'll put some links at the bottom there, and I'm sure you'll enjoy them as much as I do. Well, thank you so much for joining me here on the KY Woodsman, and I'll be back at you again real soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.